The highlight of the week, sponsored by Dave Frannick Auto. Looking for that first car for your son or daughter? Don't panic. See Dave Frannick. We go to Sparta High School, and after the teams traded punts on their first possession, Sparta's defense turns up the heat here. Watch Jake Davis lead the charge as the Spartans drop Victor Torres for a four-yard loss, forcing a Bayonne punt. But Bayonne gets the ball right back. Watch Junior Aldano make the pick here, and the Bees are set up at the 42-yard line. And on their first play from scrimmage, watch Bees quarterback Christopher Wright find Biagio Cancro, who makes a nice snag at the 40 and turns it into a 30-yard gain and a first down at the Sparta 28. All right, Bayonne is facing a fourth and two at the Sparta 20, but Sparta holds on as Christian Glue makes the big stop as Bayonne turns the ball over on downs. Sparta's defense was great all game. All right, we have no score after one quarter, as we go to second quarter action, and Sparta's mounting a drive, and it's Cody Armando with the first down run here on a third and two to the Sparta 45. And the Spartans convert again on third and two. Watch Sparta quarterback Jake Melville take it outside with the help of a Cody Armando block for six yards to the Bayonne 36. The drive ends here when John Coleman's 38-yard field goal hits the upright and remains a scoreless tie here at Sparta. Okay, after a short Bayonne punt, Sparta has good field position, and on third and four, watch Jake Melville take off on the draw. He picks up a great block here from Lucas Ferrier and Zach Davis downfield as he sprints into the end zone from 42 yards out, and Sparta takes a 7-0 lead with 2.09 left in the half. It stays 7-0 as we go to third quarter action, and Sparta's defense keeps hammering away as Victor Torres is swarmed with no place to go, and he's dropped for a five-yard loss. But Bayonne comes right back here on fourth and third. Quarterback Christopher Wright finds a wide open Samir Gordon who falls down at the Sparta one yard line and they are set up. And then Wright scores on the sneak on the next play and after the PAT this game is tied at seven apiece with 8.19 left in the third quarter. All right, Sparta gets the ball back and with Cody Armando on the sidelines with cramps on this hot and humid day, it's Lucas Ferrio with a great spin move for a six yard game. And then watch this beauty of a pass and catch as Jake Melville hits Nick Shalala in stride right down the seam for a 41-yard gain to the Bayonne 7. What a catch and throw. Melville then caps the 70-yard drive here with his 2-yard plunge with 422 left and Sparta goes up 14-7 over the Bees. Okay, on Bayonne's next possession, watch quarterback Christopher Wright look to go to the hitch-and-go route on the near sideline, but Tommy Keller's having none of it as he makes the interception for Sparta, the first of his two on the day, and it stays 14-7 Sparta after three quarters of play. We go to fourth quarter action, and Sparta moves into field goal position, and it's John Coleman who splits the uprights from 31 yards out, and Sparta goes up 17-7 with 10 minutes left in the game. Okay, Bayonne is looking to rally, and it's Christopher Wright. He's scrambling for the bees, and watch as his pass gets picked off by Nick Shalala on fourth and five, and Sparta takes over. Huge play right there for the Spartans. Bayonne would get the ball back, but once again, Sparta's ball hawking secondary comes up big as it's Tommy Keller again as he makes his second pick off of the game off the double pass at the Sparta 33. Sparta is now looking to run out the clock, and the Spartans move the chains on third and six here at the full house backfield with Melville, who gets the first down to the 45. And Lucas Ferrier takes it around the end for 17 yards and a first down as Sparta, buoyed by its defense, holds off Hudson County Power Bayonne 17 to 7 to start the season off with a big win at Richard Castles Field. This win, uh, it means a lot to us because we know this is a great team. We know they're going to get a lot of wins in their division. And they're going to get us a lot of power points. So, you know, getting this win for us is a big momentum builder and, you know, hopefully it will carry us like last year. It's great to start off 1-0. It's really going to help us and it's just good to get the ball rolling. So. I'm actually proud of the kids' efforts. Uh, Bayonne's a, a good program, you know, coming off an 8-3 year last year. Uh, they're a group 5 school and, and I think our kids came out and uh, play, played well. Uh, it's obviously there, there's some things we got to work on, but I was happy with their effort. Sparta opened the season last year with a big win against a Group 4 team from Hudson County, North Bergen. Bayonne's a Group 5 with the new sections this year. They're hoping they're going to get the same result this year after this victory. We knew it was going to be a big test coming in. You know, they, they, they were actually bigger than us, and the quarterback's being recruited by a ton of people with a good, with a good wide receiver out there. So uh, I'm happy with our effort. There's obviously things that uh, we actually need to do, but I'm, 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 I'm actually happy at the end of the day right now. It was very important to win this game. I mean, I guess a good, big, group five, Bayonne school, very important to get this win. Oh, it was a big win. You know, start the season off. Last year we had a big win against North Bergen. This year, group five school, Bayonne. It's a great win.